It's sometimes said that for every rule, there's an exception. But exceptions should be rare and well considered. Deviations from language style guidelines should be done with extreme care. In some cases, you can do a blanket deviation when a rule simply does not apply at all to a code base. However, turning off entire rules because there are one or two exceptions is bad practice. In some cases, a rule will have to be violated for an excellent reason in one specific place or another. For example, in a code base that has both feet and meters, a feet to meter conversion will have to violate strong typing at the point of conversion. But the way to do this is not to turn off strong typing, but rather to have a one line deviation for that one line of conversion code. That deviation should be accomplished by turning off the rule for that one line using, for example, a pragma, and should have a comment justifying exactly why that rule and only that rule is turned off for exactly that one line of code. It is common to have legacy code, which generates lots of static analysis warnings, because the code base was inherited in bad repair, and it may be impractical to fix everything all at once. So there are three general strategies to be used in this situation. Strategy one is to fix one module at a time to make the code compile clean for that one module with no warnings. This can be useful if you're doing refactoring or reengineering on a module by module basis. But note that you may need to keep warnings permanently off for third party code modules if you only have headers and not source code. Another strategy is to turn on one warning at a time for the entire code base and then go fix all the places that warning is generated. For example, early on, you might want to turn on the warning for uninitialized variables and fix all of them. When you get some time to do some more work, turn on the next rule, and so on. This will get you incrementally better code without having to rewrite the whole code base. Strategy three is to throw the bad code away and write it from scratch, potentially recovering high-level design information. In the long run, this tends to be the most cost effective, especially if you have a bunch of old spaghetti code. However, it's hard to get the time and budget to do a complete clean slate rewrite. A useful compromise can be to find the handful of bug farms, rewrite those, and then use a more incremental approach for the rest of the code base.